So let's look at musical mashups. And I want to first start out by playing two, uh, two brief clips for you. One is from, uh, you're the one that I want in the next episode, which is Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg versus Grease. So let's listen to that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the one and only dysfunctional DJ. Stranded at the drive in. Branded a fool. What will they say? say, 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 say. Hit me! So when we listen to that, we hear that the rhythm is, there's, I mean, there's beat matching going on. There's, uh, the content is set up t to trade back and forth in terms of a rap battle between the three protagonists. Uh, the, there are references to like sort of the stylistic quality with, within the music. And you get the impression that this is as much about um, styles of music as it is about, um, I don't know, the, the musical versus rap. It has to do with where, um, where the music is listened to, where the music exists, as much as the content itself. Let's listen to another one. This is the Safety Booty by Bubba, Sp or it's Bubba Sparks versus Men Without Hats by DJ Top Hat. Call it poor Bubba Sparks. Shake it freely, and I don't tell stories. I let them tell itself. And you ain't gotta sell sex, girl. It's sell itself like nothing else. Yeah, I'm a country boy, but that big city bottom fill me up with joy. Ain't like brand, live it up, daddy. Here go the whisper song, baby. This is us, ready? Put it on me enthusiastically. Whatever it is that you do, you do it admirably. And I ain't choose it. That thing chose me. It's publicated in the yang all the way in this thing. Go!
Cause your friends don't dance And if they don't dance Well, they're no friends of mine I say, we can go where we want to A place where they will never find And we can act like we come from out of this world Leave the real one far behind And we can dance Get it right, get it right, get it tight Get it right, get it right, get it tight Get it right, get it right, get it tight Get it right, get it right, get it tight so this one follows a little bit of a different pattern. We're starting to see a certain consistency within the what is a musical mashup. And there are several different ways that these musical mashups are created, one of which is to take the, the vocals and separate them from the music, put them mu with the music from a different piece. Uh, the other is to sort of do the mixing back and forth, but generally speaking, the the bass music doesn't change either, or it's pretty consistent. Um, again, what it does is it creates a dialogue between the two spaces, or between the different pieces of music, as well as all of the context that's around them. Um, in sort of in closing, and sort of I want to sort of show you this uh, this clip from uh, Rip a Remix Manifesto, and this is by a remix artist by the name of Girl Talk. And I want you to see how he arrives at, like how he's making these, these particular mashups. Can I show you a mashup? Sure. So, I'll just grab any one of those, paste that into a new window, Elvis. Costello radio. So if I just highlight the first kind of percussion hit. So if I put 0.25 seconds of it there, and then paste 0.125 seconds of it, which is half of that, and paste the 0.25 seconds again. So this is one second now, and this should be on a rhythm. Put in 0.125 seconds of silence. Put it twice, so it's 0.25 seconds of silence. And paste the 0.25 seconds again. Oh my god. Paste the 0.125 seconds. So I'm just taking his notes and rearranging them. I'll put in the minimal version. And you can put a, a beat underneath that. And then I'll put in the, the extended version. And they're kind of layering over each other so you can hear the t ones that fit with each other. And I could slow either one of these down so if I wanted to go, or speed them up. So if I wanted to go this, twice the speed and increase the pitch. So none of it is his, he's just rearranging other stuff. And I would say that's roughly the equivalent of, you know, taking a familiar Beatles melody on your guitar and rearranging the notes and putting a new guitar pedal sound on it and calling it your own song. It's taking something that was and turning it into something that it wasn't. Um, there's just, there's a gazillion copyright questions that would be a great exam question for a copyright law class. Um, <laughs> it, it, the answer will always be it depends and in part it depends on whose it is and and how upset they are. W wouldn't there be something to be said that he, his creativity is being limited? I'm no. No? His creativity isn't. Um, you can't argue your creativity when it's based on other people's stuff. So in conclusion, I mean, in thinking about like music, it's um, everything that's important to music is paid attention to on a minute detail. It's really specifically about the rhythm. It's about the way that it sounds first. Then it's about the content and what it is that you're mashing up. But without the, the content and the, the recontextualization within the audio, it doesn't have as much punch. So the mashups that really work are the ones that say that sound like they're saying something more or that extend out beyond the context of the original pieces. <laughs>